Now, hey, welcome back to the channel. So I have had a lot of people message me, as well as a lot of my patrons asking, what's going on with my prints? They are failing and they look terrible. Well, today I'm gonna to go over a few of the things that I have done in the past with my models that could probably help you. And it's pretty simple. And it's one of those things that no matter how great your printer is, how great your settings are, if you get this wrong, you will have a print failure. And that is orientation. So I'm gonna go over a few of the things that I've done to help you get pretty cool prints like this. And if you're a person who has mastered this, by all means, comment below and let me know what else we can do to help the people who haven't mastered it. But before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell. That way you don't miss out on any future videos. Now we can start. All right, everybody. So I have my build plate up here for the Anycubic Photon M3 Max. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer a file over to the build plate here and show you what I'm talking about as far as orientation. All right, so here I am taking just the upper torso of the Rogue statue by Wicked 3D. I've got it here on the build plate. As you can see, uh, there's a little bit of a question whether or not we can print this as one piece. And I'm going to try and print this as one piece, but I'm going to show you a couple of things that I do differently compared to what other people do. The first thing is I want to make sure that when I am printing something like an arm or a fist, it's pretty much straight up in the air and it doesn't, it's not parallel or vertical to the plane of the, uh, the build plate. And the reason being is because when I do support this, I'm going to get flat spots underneath here and it's going to be rippled. It's not going to necessarily print correctly because it's printing at a flat axis. So what I'm going to do on this one here is I'm going to actually angle this a little bit down and this right here, this pivot point will be uh, towards the build plate, but at the same time, I won't have any flat lines like on the jacket right here. Everything is at an angle on the arm as well. This is still up in the air and this right here will actually kind of arch up a little bit. So whenever I support it, uh, everything is going to be at an angle. The other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to probably tilt this back a little bit like so. That way, again, the arm is angled up and we have no flat lines to print uh, here on this uh, print. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hollow it out and support it. Okay, so once I have it hollowed out and I have all of my drain holes installed, Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit auto supports on this. If you do a pre-supported file, then obviously you have to support everything the way it is according to the pre-supports. That's why I support everything through auto supports. So here's what I get. Whenever I do auto supports, everything is supported efficiently. There's nothing on the higher end top of it where the detail is. I'm getting stuff basically on the bottom of the arm and everything is at an angle. And we're gonna print this out. And we're gonna see what it looks like. All right, so this is the rogue torso printed out. And after I've got all the supports off of it, everything turned out pretty well with this one. Um, all the details still held in place. Everything looks really good. And uh, no really uh, out of the ordinary type of variations, uh, no warpage or anything like that. I'd say this print was a success. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I orientate a head. So these are two Thanos heads, also from Wicked 3D for the new Thanos model that they come out with. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to orientate these by holding the head straight up, basically, uh, getting it parallel, and then I'm going to actually tilt it back. Uh, that way I can... Uh, keep all the detail in the face and that way that everything will be in the back and all of the drain holes will be actually down on the build plate. So heads are relatively simple. You just want to make sure that you have them tilted back enough that way that none of the detail gets lost in the face from the supports and everything is being supported from the back end. That way it's much easier to get the supports off and do a little sanding. So once I have the heads the way I want them, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna go ahead and hollow them and add supports. 
Okay, so now that I have everything hollowed out and I have my drain holes added on the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and again, I'm gonna use auto supports on this. All right, now you can see that the supports are added. And again, this is nothing into the detail of the face. I have a little bit here on the helmet, which is gonna to have to have support on those angles right there. And that's not really gonna interfere with any types of detail on the face. But what it's gonna do is it's gonna allow everything to be supported efficiently and everything to print the way it needs to print. And we'll get these on the printer and print them out and see how they turn out. So here are the Thanos heads after coming off the printer. Uh, cleaned them up a little bit and as you can see all the detail is in there. No warpage or anything like that out of the back. The detail uh, still held out in the back where the supports head uh, contacted and uh, everything looks good. Okay, so here on the build plate, we have a couple of arms and a boot here from the same Thanos model. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I like to orientate arms and boots on here. That way you're gonna get a really good solid print and uh, not a lot of failures. So I know a lot of people like to angle their arms here on the build plate and support up underneath. But one thing that I do a little different than that is I like to stand my arms straight up and the reason is because that way uh, it takes a little longer to print but everything is supported solid up underneath it and the supports do not get into the detail of the arm itself so i like to take in the area where the peg is going to connect to the body i like to have that on the bottom here and just like this one here i will take and lift this one up also but because we're looking at a flat air edge on the top of the arm here, I'm gonna angle this just ever so slightly. So once I have the arm angled a little bit where it's not so flat to the build plate, I am ready to go with this one. And the boots are the same way. I know a lot of people like to take and just put them back like so. But again, I like to make sure everything is straight and that way I don't have any possibility of a failure or any detail being taken out of the back of the boot. So this is what I'm gonna do. Now on this right here, everything is flat, parallel to the build plate. So again, I'm gonna ever so slightly angle it like this and have everything sticking straight up. And on this, I will actually gear that up towards a little bit, again, where the front is at an angle. So angles, angles, angles. I wanna make sure that I'm not printing anything on a flat surface. So once I do that, all I gotta do is hollow it out, put my drain poles and supports. Also, so here is a rogue head that I printed uh, the same way I did the Thanos. I mean, I just basically just angled it back a little bit. Uh, this one could have gotten really nasty really quick with all of the, these curls and stuff in the hair. Uh, but I did not lose any of the detail that I needed up in the front and everything printed off pretty well And as you can see the head fits perfect onto the torso All right, everyone I hope that helped you out in getting fewer fails and better prints for your models and at this time I would love to give a huge shout out to my patron community and if you would like to become a member of the Patreon, a link is below in the description. And we got a new member this week. Let's see who it is. Let's welcome Brian Davis. Thank you so much, Brian, for becoming the newest member of the Patreon. And again, that link is below in the description. Come over and join our Discord and talk about all things printing and painting. And if the Patreon is not for you, just simply support the channel by watching the next video. Or the next. Or a live stream. There you go. That's right, be sure to check out the community board for the next live stream. Go check out some of the previous ones. We talk about some pretty cool stuff over there and we'd love to have you join. And with that being said, everyone, stay safe out there. Get out and create something. Print, prep, paint, repeat. And until the next video, everybody, we'll see you. Oh, we just thought we got rid of him. He's back. <laughs>